This is the Athlete of the Week, and it's presented by Diamond Point and Sox Center. And with us today here on Mid-Minnesota Sports is Jimmy Thomas, and he's an athlete from Melrose. Well, Jimmy, let's start out. Uh, tell us about your family, and uh, where do you live? Um, I live in New Munich. I have been living there for about 12 years, since I was about five years old. Okay. Um, and who's in your family? I got my mom, Lori, and my dad, Jim, and my little brother, who's also in wrestling. Uh, my my older sister actually lives in Georgia, and I got my other older sister, Ashley. So all right, real good. Uh, what other activities are you involved in at school? Um, this year I did football. I'm currently in wrestling, and I do track in the spring. It's going to be up to Jimmy Thomas. If Jimmy Thomas wins, the Sox Center Melrose wrestling team beats ACGC. What is your mindset? What is your strategy going into a, a match like that? I mean, I only had to win by points, you know. It's it's kind of nerve-wracking uh, up until the whistle. You know, I'm always nervous until the whistle blows, and then once the match gets going, it's kind of, you got to focus. Here are the heavyweights, and he's got a big guy out there, Jonathan Beam. He weighed in at 281. He is a sophomore, and he's much taller than Jimmy Thomas. Wrestling here for the head, and Thomas got the takedown. Thomas aggressively pushing down on the head. He means business out there. Jimmy Thomas got the takedown. He leads two to nothing. Now, your opponent, though, he's a big guy. He weighed in at, what, 281. He stands about 6'4", it seemed. Uh, how do you handle a guy like that? Because as that match went on, he didn't really seem to be doing too much right away. No, it's, it's kind of difficult with the taller guys because they're obviously going to try to lock in cradles, and they're going to use their height on you to get them under you. And it's pretty difficult when... They're not moving around for you to do much. Now, there was a point to the match, though. He had you going, right? You were going on your back? Yep. Uh, he got me in a cradle. I tried getting up, and I didn't have my hand out, so I didn't have his hand locked up, so he got me in a cradle, but I got kicked out of it. Thomas trying to get to his feet, although Beam very big using his weight. Now Thomas, see if he can roll him. He does so. Can he get that headlock in there? No. Thomas is going over himself. Oh, Thomas is on his back struggling and fighting. He got it. He broke out of that hole, though. But two back points against Jimmy Thomas. Beam rolled him over. At first, it looked like Thomas was going to have him, but then Beam put him on his back. It is now 2-2. Two to two. Thomas getting to his feet. Beam uses his weight. Has that. Oh, now maybe here's the headlock for Jimmy Thomas. Jimmy Thomas has the headlock in there, and he's got him on his back. Jimmy Thomas looking for a pin, and he got it. As the match went on then, when did you feel that you really had the kid then? Um, it was, there was kind of a scramble in there when he kind of was setting up another cradle. And when I, I kind of re-rolled him, and when I kind of settled back into a headlock, I knew that at that point I had him. That was exciting, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was, it a was, very good, it was fun. And it was a very good night for the team, wasn't it? Yep, that we, I think it's been a while since we beat ACGC as a team, so... That's good. They're a pretty solid team, so it's kind of fun to see what we have against them. Let me ask you now, how did you get going with wrestling? Then I don't want to touch on the other sports too, but how about wrestling? Um, I Freshman year, I had uh, our coach, Glazner, he came up to me and asked me if I was interested in it, and I didn't really know what it was about, so I just went to a couple practices, and I really enjoyed it right away, and it was kind of natural. I didn't know it was fun. And what do you do on the track team then? I do mostly throwing and Last year I did the uh, 200 meter dash. I don't know about this year, but I do mostly throwing. So. And I'd also like to touch on football too. When did that all start for you, and how did you get going? I've been doing football since elementary, f fourth grade. About that was. It's just I've always been a lineman. Kind of had the build for it. I like it. You know, it seems to me too on the football team that you're very versatile. That they use you in different positions. Uh, do you feel that way too? And and how would you describe yourself as a football player then? Um, I kind of like I like being where the ball is. I, I would say, I mean, I'm, it's, uh, I've always been, I've always been good at more defense than offense, mm -hmm. but offense, um, you know, the whole idea is protecting the quarterback, getting the play where he needs to play, you know. All so. right. I'd like to touch on too with all the athletes about uh, just weight training and weight lifting and, and how you view that. Uh, what do you go through personally with that? Um, I have a free period, uh, seventh hour, and I like, if I'm not doing homework, then I like to go into the weight room, and I also have a membership at Snap Fitness, so whenever I get the chance, I'm in there. So as you do that, uh, how would you say, how does that pay off for you? 
I think it's very good to weight train. It helps with muscle endurance, and it just helps you become stronger. Now, back to wrestling. Uh, how would you describe yourself as a, as a wrestler? Because in the upper weights, you see some different styles. Uh, how do you describe yourself? Uh, I would consider myself one that doesn't give up. And when I'm getting to my back, I don't like to just get stuck. I like to keep moving until the whole match is over. Just keep going for all six minutes. Now, seeing some of these guys, it's a bear hug, might be a headlock or a throw, and just kind of muscle out there. Do you do you like to get involved in that? Uh, I like to use more of my speed against them, tire them out more. You know, first period, just get them going, and then second period, you can kind of hear them huffing and puffing. So I, that's when I kind of like to hit my moves. I mean, I'm, I'm really good at bottom. I like it's easy for me to get up, and um, yeah, it's it's good for me to it's good to move around the guy. I like getting single legs in. Is it a factor, too, in some of these matches when uh, some of these big guys are laying on top of you, using your their weight against you? Does that make a difference in a match? Yeah, I would say so. I think that a weight is a big thing. I mean, if you get stuck under a big guy, I mean, that's it's, it's hard to get out of that sometimes, especially if they got you in a double underhook. I mean, that's hard to get out of sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now, you are a senior on this wrestling team this year, and you have a lot of younger guys, especially a lot of eighth graders out there, ninth graders. How do you see, how do you see your role uh, fitting in with some of those guys and what you try to teach them? I think that I like to keep them going. When they're most tired, I'm telling them, hey, we're all tired. We got to keep going. As a team, conditioning is important. We need to keep going with this. I see you, too, as a leader in the sense that the kids like you. Maybe because you're a bigger guy, they like to jump on top of you, about three or four guys, and try to take you down. It's kind of fun, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's really fun to, it's fun to screw around a little bit, I guess. Yeah, as you get involved with these guys then, too, how is important to, is it to uh, stay out for these sports with a lot of these guys? I think that being part of a team is great. Having all those people around you that aren't just your friends, but your family, and they're, they're helping you out with not just situations in the sport, but even at home or in school. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been hooked up with a lot of good athletes here, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do some guys uh, stand out in your mind uh, through all the sports that you play? <sighs> Colt Meyer, he's, he's always been one of those guys. And Zach Prisco was great in football. He's really good at running. And um, Ben Heller in swimming, he's really, I like him a lot. Uh, Will Funk, obviously, he's a great wrestler. Yeah, how has that relationship gone with uh, you pairing up with uh, Sox? I don't you get along with those guys pretty good? Yeah, their their team has kind of shrunk in the past few years but we're it's you know obviously in other sports they don't we're not we're kind of rivals but when wrestling and swimming comes around we're best buds mm -hmm. all right that's good what kind of plans if any after high school do you think um i actually got accepted into alexandria technical college for law enforcement so Is that right? all yep. right what kind of drew you to that i don't you know my parents say they both they're both bus drivers and I just, I, it's the whole helping people out kind of thing, uh -huh. you know, being up there with the law and everything. All I right. think that's what I, I like about it. Well, good luck to you on that. Thank you. All right. Thank you for being with us, too. Yep, you're welcome. All right. Good match the other night. That Thank was exciting. You. That was, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. All right. That's Jimmy Thomas. He is the Athlete of the Week, all presented by Diamond Point and Sock Center here on Mid-Minnesota Sports.